hugely popular, so when he returned, Phineas was basically a national celebrity. Meanwhile, the American Museum was making more money in a- I'm going to show you step by step how to create this map animation, similar to Magnets Media, using CapCut. So let's start, guys. Import your files and first add a yellow background, then add the people vector. After that, add the USA map. Now select all layers and increase the duration to as long as you need. For me, 15 seconds is good. Now select the people layers and move them down. Since it's two layers, we are free to put them anywhere we want. Add the building image to the timeline, make it small, and move it down. The building should be at the end of the animation, so trim the beginning of the layer. For the money bags, they should be behind the crowd layers because they paid money. One bag should be bigger for a little perspective and a better look. For animating them, we can do it ourselves if we want different directions. Using animation parts is good for me. I just want to see the crowds rise up, so I use the slide up animation. I don't know why in every update they move the animation presets. Animations should be near each other. Now they are separated. If you want to see what tools were added in the latest CapCut update, watch this video on my channel. I might even make a playlist for CapCut updates in the future. So, if you're an editor in the year 2049, check the playlist section. Let's get back to our editing. Increase the duration of the animation to make it slower. Let's see how much it should be. One point seven seconds is good. If we have the same animation for both crowd layers, it's not good. Let's increase the duration for one of them. Two point four seconds is good. Do the same animation for the money bags, too. Before we start next part, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. For the middle of the animation, the crowds and money bags should go down. So select the layers and cut the right side of the animation. Now apply the slide down animation to all layers. Apply the slide up animation to the building too. Let's check the animation. First, the crowds come into the shot, then the money bags jump in the air. After that, the money bags and crowds go down, and the building comes up. Good, yeah? Okay, now we have a little problem here. Let's move the crowd layers to fill the empty area, because I don't want to see yellow colors here. Now add the money green screen video behind the building. With the chroma key, we choose the green color, and done. If you are a new editor here, this option was revolutionary in the editing world. Even Premiere Pro doesn't have this option, can you believe that? So, for adding a little random movement to the layers, let's use the play pendulum effect in the nightclub part. First, add it to the crowd layers. Set twist to zero, strength to five or eight, sharpen to 10, and speed to 40. Do the same process for other layers too but use different numbers to get different movements. Change the numbers for strength and speed. Twist should always be zero, but in some cases, you can use twist too. It depends on your project and creativity. Apply the play pendulum to the money bags too. Like the video, add text here. You can write anything. We are not going to recreate a Magnets Media documentary. Depends on your topic and voice, write your text. Use Type 1 animation for the in, and for the out use Fade Out or Type animation again. When you are happy with everything, create a compound clip. Now let's add our yellow and red background. Move it under the map layer. Thank you. 
Now the important part. We should remove the blue color with the chroma key option. But remember, it only works when there is no blue color in our map layer. So if you want to use this technique, remember your palette color. Because there is blue and green color in everything. That's why I use yellow and red color. So let's finish our project, then I will tell you more details. Make the background a little darker by reducing the highlight. And now it's time for animating. We should rotate it. Make one keyframe here, and one keyframe at the end of the layer. Set the number to 360 degrees. You can go higher, but the viewer won't feel comfortable. They will get a headache. Let's check the animation. We should make it bigger. For the ending, I add an image of this person. Who's this man? I think I saw him somewhere. Anyway, so he should come to the shot with the slide up animation. Let's add a blur to his background to make some depth and more focus on him. But decrease the blur. Let's animate the intensity of the blur from 0 to 5 to get a fade in blur. It's smoother. Then duplicate the blur layer and move it behind the map layer. See the difference between blur and no blur. Add the vignette effect on the background too. Set the number to 50. We can add a little motion to our character and map layer too by using the play pendulum effect. The numbers are the same as the previous objects we animated. So if you want to use this masking technique in CapCut, remember blue for the background and green for the object. But how can we do it? Just open your image in Photoshop, like this USA map I used in the project, and change the hue if it's not green color. And if you want to create a mask in the shape of a person, create a green solid color. Then put your mouse cursor between the layer and hold shift to create a mask into the character layer. Choose a blue solid color for the background, and done. This is our final video we made. If you want to watch other parts of Magnets Media tutorials on CapCut, click on this playlist. And as always, stay creative. Sure.